Hey everybody! Hi! So we're going to take a couple of minutes to talk about 3D and how that's changed from Grandma 2 to Grandma 3. Yeah, the biggest difference is instead of two programs, it's now all integrated into one. Yes, and that makes it a whole lot easier if you're just trying to do some work on one computer. You don't have to open up another application, you're just opening up another window. You don't have to deal with any extra networking things or loopback adapters or any of that stuff. Yeah. It also means with the new software, we can finally run this on our Macs. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and if I wanted to use my Mac as a dedicated visualizer computer that maybe I'm going to hook up to on my console, now I can. Absolutely. And if you're going to do that, uh, there is a setting that will show you uh, where you can prioritize the 3D rendering over the rest of the UI just for that computer. Yeah, so I think we, we want to take a look at that setting and everything else that's new in this version that we didn't have in the Grandma 2. So to do that, we've loaded up the demo show onto our console. So it's included in the software. If you want to follow along at home, you can. So the new 3D window is a little like a mashup of Grandma 3D and the stage view within Grandma 2. Yeah, like the uh, toolbar that's on the left side, that's going to allow us to like move our camera in and around. We can even toggle in and out of follow mode. So just mm -hmm. like the stage view in the Grandma 2. Also in the title bar should be familiar, we can change cameras or we can go into the setup mode. But looking here, you'll also see options that you're used to seeing in the separate 3D software, like changing your beam quality. You'll also see options for something new, and that's labels. Labels. Yeah, this will toggle your labels on and off, but there's more options for them in the settings window. Yeah, so if we click on MA, under the first tab, rendering, again, familiarity, this is uh, a lot like the options that you saw in uh, Grandma 3D for changing your rendering settings. If I go to the miscellaneous tab, here's that 3D priority option that we talked about earlier. This is an option I turn on on my dedicated visualizer computer, but not on the console. And over here in the labels tab, uh, you'll see those same two toggles that we saw in the title bar. Uh, but then you see uh, some additional information if you wanted to show where your fixtures were patched or the name included with the label, you can do that. You also have faders here for the alpha of the background and the text to make things a little more readable for you. On the right hand side, you're going to see something that we both really like. Uh, it's called selection only. This way you're not looking at all of your labels all the time. <laughs> yeah, I think that these uh, labels are going to be really useful. Like, for example, if we're doing a television show in a studio and we've got a really big rig, and I need to figure out there's that one light that's, you know, hitting that audience member or it's flaring that camera, you know, and I need to figure out what light that is. Well, if my uh, 3D environment has been rendered well and it really matches up with my real room, this is going to tell me exactly which light that is. <laughs> so handy. Yeah. And if you're wondering now, where do 3D objects live? Speaking mm. of setting up the environment right, where are they? They're in the patch now. To the patch. <laughs> <laughs> And we're in the patch. Your 3D objects are going to be listed just like fixtures. In the demo show file, some of these fixtures are inside the stage elements grouping and others are under truss, just in case you're following along at home. Uh, once you found your object in this window, you can change the scale and the position. You can also move your objects around in the 3D window using your encoder wheels. It's not necessary to give them a fixture ID, but it does make them a little easier to select. You can also add in new objects, just like adding in a fixture. They live under the manufacturer set. So that's 3D. Something old, something new. Works for me, works for you. <laughs> wow, OK, uh, on that note, uh, thanks again, Lee, for having us. And uh, oh, thank you to Mr. Stapuff, who dropped by and made the shot infinitely better. Perfect. Yeah. Till next time. Cheers. Cheers.